As for tools, a stand mixer makes things super easy, but you can absolutely use a hand mixer or even some elbow grease and an old fashioned whisk. If you use a stand mixer, I would recommend you to get a flat beater and if you can get one with a silicon cover, that would be even better. Now, along with our mixing tools, we'll also need a few other essentials, things like bowls and a spatula for mixing and storing, then different buttercream colors. I do use a variety. I don't have a preferred brand, but I intend to use the Wilton, the PME, Squire's Kitchen, whatever I get my hands on to. Uh, the most um, recently I went into the fractal colors, but I can't really say I've got a preferred brand. I use them just based on the, the shade of coloring they provide. Then also you will need some board and obviously you will need your palettes to, to do the painting. But along with the palettes, I will also suggest you to get some piping bags, either plastic or paper, maybe a coupler to help you swap in between some very basic nozzles, which you might want to use while piping, maybe like some stems or adding some extra volume with some leaves or petals. And I will just suggest have a, having like a number one, two, three, five, two and one, zero, three from Wilton or a different brand. Um, Sometimes Gem does a better job because the, the metal is a better quality so it doesn't tarnish as quick as it does when you use the Wilton nozzles. Now, just a quick note about um, the brushes. If you want to get a really nice smooth finishing in some of your, say, little buds when you pipe, then you might want to use a brushing, uh, a brush, like a painting brush. So those would be also useful. You might want to get yourself a template just to inspire you about um, the, to the, to the project, whatever project you are planning to do. And now talking about the palettes. Now, I do know that um, there are a, a ton of them out there and as an artist you're always um, you know have this impulse of buying loads but just two triangle um, palettes will be enough and I will just pick one um, a little bit smaller and one a bit larger the, the small one would be actually used for painting and make, lar make like um, uh, petals and leaves while the large one will be used for mixing the color colors uh, with, with the with the buttercream and just get the, the, the right effect. Artist palettes are great because they are nice and flexible. Unlike, unlike some cheap ones which can be too stiff and not really useful when it comes to shaping the petals. But I will show you exactly what I'm going to use and also attached to the lesson you will find a list and that's going to have a link to my Amazon affiliate shop and you obviously there is no pressure for you to buy but at least you can see the characteristics of what kind of tools will be i found it will be useful for you to have 